Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw a regular decagon or a 10-sided polygon knowing the length of one side. This process is based on the ratio of the famous golden proportion, in other words the ratio of the side of the decagon and the radius of the decagon is the same as the golden proportion. The first thing we need to do is to draw a horizontal line at the bottom of our screen, as can be seen here. And on the left side of this line, we will mark a point A. Now, setting the compass to the length of the given side L at the top of the screen, which is the side of the decagon that we want to draw, setting the compass on point A, we're going to transport this length onto the horizontal line. So, setting the compass on to the length L first. And now we're going to transport this onto the horizontal line, setting the compass on A and scribing an arc to the right to obtain a new point B. And this line segment AB will be the first side of the base of the decagon we want to draw. Now we need to draw the perpendicular bisector of the base AB. To do this, I remind you we must draw two arcs with the same radiuses. These radius must be longer than half of the length of the base as shown here in the video. And now we will draw the first arc with a compass centered on A. We will draw an arc above and below the line. And now with the same radius and centered on point B, we will draw two more arcs to intersect the previously drawn arcs as shown here. So the perpendicular bisector is the line which passes through these two points and we will elongate it as can be seen here in the video. Okay, so now let's draw the perpendicular line starting from point B and this line must be longer than the line segment AB. And now setting the compass to the length AB, we're going to scribe an arc on the previously drawn perpendicular line as shown here in the video. And this arc intersects our line at a new point, which we will call P. So the next step is centering our compass on midpoint M and radius MP. We scribe an arc to the right until it intersects the prolongation of the line segment AB, as can be seen here. And we will call this point, point Q. So the length AQ will be equal to the radius of the circumscribed circle of the decagon that we want to draw. So the next step, setting the compass on point A and with radius AQ, we scribe an arc to the left until it cuts our previously drawn perpendicular bisector of the line segment AB. And this new point O is going to be the center of the circumscribed circle of the decagon that we want to draw. This point is also the top vertex of the pentagon with a side AB, which is shown here drawn in red lines. So the next step is to draw the circumscribed circle, setting the compass on point O and with radius OA, we draw the circle. And now setting the compass to the given length AB, we are going to transport this length nine times around the circle to locate all the vertices of the decagon we want to draw. So now setting the compass on B, we scribe our first arc, which will be the third vertices of the decagon. And again, repeating the same process, setting the compass on the previously drawn arc, we scribe another arc. And again, our fourth one. And now we will do the left side, just to minimize any slight inaccuracies there might be. So we continue on the left side, scribing our arcs, obtaining new vertices of the decagon we want to draw. And finally, our final vertices. So the next step is we will name these vertices from A to J. You can 
just check that our vertices are lined up to show that we were working with accuracy. So we can see that they are. Okay, and the final step is to, with a ruler and a thicker line, to join all the vertices from A to B, from B to C. from C to D, from D to E, from E to F, from F to G, From G to H, from H to I, from I to J, and finally we complete our decagon, joining vertices J back to A. So here you have a regular decagon given one of its sides. I hope this video has helped you. Please press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Until the next time.